We begged, and I begged my mother, my grandmother, my father, mother, sisters not to leave their house because we don't know if they're going to come home. In the wake of the deadly Atlanta shootings, three University of Maryland students took matters into their own hands to bring awareness to anti-Asian racism and organized a candlelight vigil on McKeldin Mall on Wednesday. It wasn't until that day that the school released a statement and promoted the vigil. We don't know if now they're starting to make statements about it or like issue stuff about it because we just came forward to them about doing this and we would have wished that they had beaten us to it a little bit that we didn't have to, it didn't have to come to us like thinking about how no UMD organization was doing anything about it. Guest speakers and campus allies showed up to pledge their support to fighting anti-Asian racism and honor the eight lives lost. Why has no one explained that my feet may be small and my strides may be small? But that is the cost of being a person of color in America. Not only were hundreds of people in attendance, but UMD President Daryl Pines was as well. Following his speech towards the end of the event, the organizers directly called on him to do more for AAPI students. You say that you stand for our community, President Pines, but you need to actually do something for our community. Issuing emails, statements, and just naming residence halls after trailblazers isn't enough for us. We actually need change, and we need to do better for the marginalized communities here at UMD. Many guest speakers also took the time to call attention to the sexism and fetishization surrounding Asian women. I'm not surprised that a good white man's temptation was not the strip club, but it was the Asian-owned massage parlors where he was always told through jokes, through media, through porn, that he would get his happy ending. We can't just pay attention to these things only when um, large-scale events happen, like we lost the lives of eight people and now people start to care, right? People should have cared when there's many incidents reported, unreported of these um, hate crimes towards the AAPI community.